What's up YouTube? Season 1 reloaded in Warzone 2 in Modern Warfare 3 finally freaking dropped and I'm gonna tell you what is the best settings for FPS and best visuals in Call of Duty. So what you wanna do, you wanna head over to your settings tab and then into graphics. Go to display, set your, your screen to full screen exclusive mode. This will give you the, the least input that you can possibly get. If you scroll over down, you will see there is an option for um, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. You can set it to on plus boost if you are GPU bound, meaning your GPU is running it, uh, uh, your GPU is being maxed out, or an on if your CPU is being maxed out. This will basically help you with um, input delay as well as minimum frames, meaning like your lows will give it a slight boost. In my case, it has helped. In other people, stated that it has not helped them. So give it a go. See how, see what results you get. Then what you want to do, you want to go over to custom frame rate limit. You want to make sure by accident limiting your frames. So make sure that either it's on unlimited or you put the custom values uh, to maximum or at least to your your screen's refresh rate. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the quality tab. So on the quality tab. What we gotta be doing is you're gonna go all the way to upscaling and plus sharpening. If you have a powerful CPU with an NVIDIA card, I highly recommend you can use the NVIDIA DLSS. If you have a good GPU and you're getting the frames you want, I will recommend using Vitality FX Cast. So what I've noticed is set this to 100% or 80%, whatever works for you, then you actually, the game looks as clean. So if you wanna go for a clean look, this is the way to go. Your visuals will look so clean. You can see everyone from anywhere on the map. Or if you need frames, select the LSS, and then pick whatever uh, works for you. So quality meaning the game looks good, but you gain some FPS. And then obviously the, high, the higher you go with this, the worse your game will look, but the more FPS you will gain. Now scrolling a little bit more down, you can see your VRAM scale target. Mine is currently set to 90. I do not see any frame boosts or getting lower frames uh, when changing this. However, I did notice if you do get stuttering, perhaps lower down to as an example a 60 or 70 percent uh, this will help your gpu stop or your gameplay stop stuttering if you have any uh, stuttering issues variable rate shading we've picked up uh, gives you more frames so if you're looking for more frames put it on now you can start just following basically um, how i have my settings set here this is best visuals um, basically if you want more fps just turn everything off but for best visuals with a little bit of performance, you can set your settings exactly like mine. I have my texture resolution set to, to, to normal. My texture filter and astrophic set to high. Depth of field low. <coughs> Detail quality level low. Particle resolution very low. Bullet impacts on. I like to see what I, uh, bullets on the wall if someone was here or not. Uh, persistent effects off. Shader quality or low. On demand texture streaming off. The reason why you want on-demand text streaming off, this is if you if you have this on and you have a slow internet speed, you will actually start having lag while playing the multiplayer modes. Uh, so you'll actually see that you are having high pings because your PC is trying to download the game's textures while playing. So having this off is highly recommended. Low text quality, low. Under shadow and lightning, you want the shadow quality normal. The screen space shadows off, basically everything off up to static reflection quality. And everything on environment, I basically have off as well. If you guys want less recall, follow these few settings here. This will basically give you less visual recall on the game. And this will work for, for consoles as well as PC. Field of view set to 120. Anything above 110 will give you less visual recall, but the, your targets will be smaller. So you have to get used to it. But most pros plays on the higher field of view. So I got it on 120. Your ADS field of, of view you want unaffected. So basically it stays on your field of view when you are ADSing. If you scroll a bit down, you will see first person camera movement. You want to set that to least 50%. So this basically reduces a lot of camera sake on the game. So setting this to 50% will basically mean you have zero recoil. Now for my a little bit of advanced PC users out there, if you still want more FPS or you're still not hitting the target that you want, there is still some secret settings I can show you in the game, in the game's config file. So what you want to do is you want to head over to your um, Call of Duty file in folder in your documents. Once you're there, look for the options for COD 23 file, which is basically your Modern Warfare 3 config. You open that up in your notepad. Basic things you can change. 
I will drop a bit another video on a little bit more things you can change, but at least one or two settings I'm going to give you right now. So what you want to make sure is that your render work account is set to the amount of cores your, your, your PC or CPU has. The way you can check that, so let's go task manager. You can go to performance. And then if you click on your CPU, you will see the amount of cores it is. As you can see there, mine shows down here, uh, core, core count is six. So if you have an AMD PC, just make it exactly the same as that. I, from my, my understanding, if you're an Intel one, you just go one less. So if you have six, you go five. Or if you have six, you go four, from my understanding. Just, just uh, play around with that and check it out and which one gives you the most FPS. Just make sure you don't go over your core load. And then another one, search for corpse culling threshold. This basically reduces the amount of corpses uh, laying on the floor. So I set mine to the minimum. So by basically just copying that and pasting it in here will give you the minimum of the minimum value, meaning the least amount of bodies on the floor. There is other configs I can still show you guys that you can change to get more FPS. But if you guys want it, comment down below. You want more? I will make make another video with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this and you want me to go a little step further and showing you how to increase your FPS, comment down below. You want more? And I'll make sure to extend or get you another video out with a little bit more detail explaining and going through benchmarks on how we can set our graphics to the best, get the best FPS we possibly can out of our PC. Just a reminder, click the like button and subscribe to my channel.